beautiful people if you're new here my name is Tatiana and in today's video we will be talking about the facial features that modeling agencies love and the exact details and characteristics of faces that are perfect for modeling And before we start, I would like to specify that we're only going to talk about the facial features, the faces that modeling agencies love, not the body types, the measurements, the height requirements and everything. If you would like to know more about modeling industry standards and requirements, I have another video about it where I'm explaining everything in detail, so please check it out as well. Also a very important thing to keep in mind is that the different fashion markets, different modeling markets may be interested in completely opposite facial features, completely opposite looks. So I'm going to point on that as well and we'll show you some examples. On one side we have defined cheekbones that creates kind of a strong angular look and on the other side we have round face that is more soft and innocent and just cute. And let's figure out what's the difference and why both of these features are highly requested in modeling industry. You may have noticed that many models have quite strong jawline and this creates a very strong and confident impression of a person. Many of them have high cheekbones or defined cheekbones and this type of look is highly requested in primary fashion markets, especially in Europe and US. Basically, these kind of models are popular worldwide. And let's take a look at a few examples. And you can find more examples on my Pinterest, the link will be in the description box. We'll start with the beautiful Carolina. She has very defined cheekbones and she looks strong and confident. One more example of beautiful, very structured face with defined cheekbones and captivating eyes. And I would like to show you my photos of gorgeous Paula as an example as well. She has defined cheekbones, she's very expressive and at the same time can look vulnerable and gentle. Here's Ash Fu. I hope I'm pronouncing everything correctly. If not, I apologize. This hairstyle showcasing her cheekbones even more. She looks really stylish, calm and confident. Lupin Won has a very interesting face, defined cheekbones again, but they are more soft, not that strong, still very structured, beautiful look. And now let's talk about the round face shape. This type of look is really really popular in Asian fashion markets because it creates a very innocent, soft impression and often the models with a baby face have such features as the round face shape. This face shape may vary a little bit but still it has some similarities among the models. For example, if the model is really young, she or he may have a little bit of a baby fat <laughs> that makes the face shape more round and at the same time these models may also have a quite defined cheekbones as well but still the overall impression of the face shape will be the round or oval type of face shape. Also there might be a narrow chin that will create a more oval type of look or even a v-line which is very very popular for example in Korea they are obsessed with the v-line even the ordinary people who aren't models are taking photos trying to create that v-line like this you may have seen it and it also creates a very innocent and cute impression jessica willow is a perfect example of baby face with a round face shape she looks super young innocent and cute next we have diane kim again super lovely and cute face quite round face she looks just adorable samantha archibald is also a good example of this type of face bruna tenorio is one of my favorite models her face is stunning and unique look how she has both different fine cheekbones, narrow chin, but overall face shape is more round in my opinion. Next Anna Laura and here we can see a little bit of baby fat and soft cute features. Union Be, amazing baby face and round face shape. Austria is a beautiful example of a model with an oval face. Her face isn't white but has soft lines. She looks just amazing. Few more examples with these super cute fashion models as well. And here's Jenny Kim from Blackpink. She's not a model but I wanted to show her as a great example of a round face shape too. Really adorable and lovely look.
Next facial feature modeling agencies love is being monochromatic or monochromatic look. I called it like this and by this I mean having matching eyebrows, hair color and the skin tone when you are basically the monochrome canvas. Often very pale looking models have such features like light blonde hair, very light red hair. Not all of the redhead models will fit into this category. And on the other side we have very dark skinned models with a black hair where we see this beautiful beautiful silhouette and the bright eyes. I think this is an incredible and really beautiful look. And and all the albino models will also fit into this category. Here you can see gorgeous women with monochromatic look. And I'm super excited to show you Unia Pacomo. Just notice how captivating she looks with this super light, almost white blonde hair and eyebrows. Her skin is also very pale, almost white with a tint of pink. And it's also the same model, but her hair here is slightly different. The previous pictures have given us more cold impression and here we have more warm look because of her hair color, but still she looks very monochromatic. Nastya Kusakina is also a good example of such facial features. Here we have my photos of Nikki. You've seen the backstage video with her previously. By the way, I have an interview with Nikki as well. So if you're curious, please check it out. She looks almost transparent with this light gray wall on the background. And this is exactly what I wanted to show. Again, really pale skin, light blonde hair, and almost invisible eyebrows. With models of monochromatic look, fashion designers and brands can easily highlight the garments, focus the attention on the clothes. Let's get back to the first photo that I've shown you. There's no colorful clothes here, but look how we focus attention on the red sign and imagine if the model was wearing, for example, a red dress. It would look really good with such features. Next facial features that modeling agencies love is the freckles and also interest in skin pigmentation and vitiligo. You've probably seen so many fashion models with freckles because the freckles create the very unique look, often magical and really really interesting. Regarding the skin pigmentation, this is more a difficult situation because not everything will work. In some cases it can be a negative side rather than a bonus for for yourself depending on how exactly your skin looks. Each case is different. And talking about the vitiligo, after discovering Vinnie Harlow, everyone become obsessed with this feature. Vinnie Harlow is amazing and there are so many beautiful and gorgeous models with vitiligo. I think it's good that the industry has become more open to these kind of things, the more unique and interesting looks. Let's take a look at these gorgeous models with freckles. All of them are really different yet still gorgeous. And here are some pictures of Adwoa Aboa. She also looks really really unique. And one more ginger beauty with freckles. The next feature I would like to talk about is the gap teeth. And although so many people may have the insecurities about it, especially when they were at school, the gap teeth is actually really, really cute and interesting look for modeling and agencies love it. There are so many beautiful models with the gap teeth. So if you have it, don't be embarrassed, don't be scared and just embrace your beauty. Lara Stone has the gap teeth and she's absolutely amazing. And Kelly Mittendorf is such a unique beauty as well. Next facial feature and a very interesting detail I would like to mention is cute lovely ears or interesting ears that can create an impression of a magical creature or fairy type of look. It doesn't have to be the big ears exactly. It can be just an interesting shape or, for example, they can create an interesting fairy-like impression along with the other facial features of a model. And I really, really love this type of look. These models are so unique and beautiful, in my opinion. 
Next thing modeling agencies love is having captivating eyes. It can be the eye color, the eye shape, the distance between your eyes, anything special and captivating that will attract the viewer. You know, models are selling the products and if they can attract more viewers to these products by showing the unique beauty of themselves, it's a really, really good thing. For me, Marina Neri is a perfect example of a model with really captivating, unique looking eyes. Julia Bilekova also has this huge blue eyes that look so beautiful. And look at Nur Helman's eyes. The way she looks at the viewer is so captivating and deep. Sora Choi is also one of my favorite models with gorgeous expressive eyes. Lisa Popova again captivating look and the eyes. And here we have Ellie Lewis, look how calm she looks and at the same time she has the captivating eyes too. Beautiful Sandra and Kim Shell. Next facial feature modeling agencies love is having a beautiful smile or an expressive smile. It's especially important for commercial looking models and in general when you're working with a model who has a beautiful smile, it's just nice. It creates a positive mood and kind mood and such models can express so many positive emotions. It's also good for modeling career. The next is thick eyebrows. Alicia Niswad has gorgeous natural thick eyebrows along with the freckles and captivating eyes. Taylor Hill is also a great example of stunning beauty with the thick eyebrows. She looks simply breathtaking on each photo. Natalia Castellar is also one more beautiful model with thick eyebrows. She looks wonderful and one more example Lisa Panfilova. And I would like to mention that sometimes people don't have any of these features, any of the features I've mentioned today, and they still become successful models. On the other side, some models include several features in their look. For example, having the interesting ears and freckles and being super pale with freckles or anything like that, having a strong jawline, which is really really common thing especially when you're super skinny so just don't think like if you don't have any of these features you don't have any opportunities in modeling it's not like that every person is beautiful every person is unique and unless you try modeling or just try appreciating yourself the way you are you will never know how far you can go remember that you are beautiful every person is beautiful and yeah, please like, comment and subscribe. It will help me a lot and I will see you next time. Bye.